Welcome to the Professor Slots Podcast. We help slots enthusiasts improve their slots gambling performance with next level tactics and strategies. Want to accelerate your slots journey, be more profitable, and understand casinos better to take advantage of them? You're in the right place. The Professor Slots team has over a decade of experience providing strategies for slots enthusiasts just like you. And now, to help you, here's Dr. John Friedel, Professor Slots. Hello. Today's episode number 157 of the Professor Slots podcast is a conversation with Rodney about his slots journey since taking my course, including how he helped his mom to win at slots. In case you missed it, on my last episode, I had a conversation with Charlie Frere, author of Casino Fun 101. I hope you enjoyed listening to my last episode as much as I enjoyed making it for you. My online course for improving your slots play is 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win. With it, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. You also get one month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 Days to Play Slots Smarter and Win is discounted at 50% for a $100 savings. Visit ProfessorSlots.com slash 30 days to learn more about this well-received course, including a full description of its contents as well as testimonials. That link is also in the description. Here's my conversation with Rodney. Enjoy. Welcome, Rodney, uh, to the podcast. Uh, thank you so much for agreeing to 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 be a to be a participant uh, to be interviewed. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Um, my name's Rodney. Um, I started well um, at the beginning. Let me say what led me to you, and then I can go on. Yes, uh, um, uh, just it, it's enough to say. You're Rodney, and uh, you know the the really the what I want to ask you is uh, you know if, if you you know when did you meet me in your gambling experience and what has happened since then uh, if you can compare it to how you did before uh, meeting me that would be that, that's what we're all looking for the the listener and myself. Um, I met you in my gambling experience at the at the very beginning. Um, I was going to the casino with my mom to hang out and spend time with her. Um, I was never really a gambler. My first experience in um, Las Vegas was for my aunt's fiftieth birthday, and you know I'd always just thought that slots was a sucker's game and never really had any interest in it. Um, my mom did. I went with her and I saw her consistently not obtaining the results she wanted. And she just wasn't leaving the casino happy or really even very entertained. So what led me to seek you out was I figured, well, if I can't help her win more, maybe I could help her lose less. What's this slot machine all about? So that led me to your channel and started watching your videos and then um, took your course to get more knowledge. And um, since then, I know a lot better than you just put money in the machine and hit the button. There's actual strategies that work and um, you can see the results. Um, I've gotten very good results from it. The month after I took the course, I had um, two hand pays within three days. Um, Congratulations. The first, <laughs> thank you. The first hand pay was great. Um, you know, it was exciting and everything, but I felt like it was an inevitability just because I was playing so much. But what really hit me was the second one because I was sitting there in my seat waiting for the slot attendant to deliver my hand pay. And it was like, I meant to do that. So that was much more satisfying because, you know, I developed a plan with after taking your course, um, put it into action. And there I was with the results. Uh, uh, excellent. So uh, I came out with my course last year. So this is all basically a year. Um, I I got my, I know when I started gambling, I got my players club in, I believe it was late February of last year. Okay. All so right. that's how long have you been playing? A little bit less than a year. Wow. Uh, uh, wonderful. And how is your mom doing? Um, she's doing much better. Um, there's a, 
I finally convinced her to use her player's card. And one day we were, we were at the casino and there was a specific machine I wanted her to play. And I reluctantly got her over to it. And she's like, now where's this machine you wanted me to play? I was like, here, sit in this seat right here and play this machine. She did. She put her money in. Two spins later, she won the grand. <laughs> <laughs> and how did and, that um, make her feel? <laughs> well, on, <laughs> on our way to the machine to cash out the ticket, she's like, now who's this guy you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, you know, you're a good son. Um, uh, uh, yes, I have an aunt uh, who uh, wants to talk to me about Soaring Eagle in Michigan. <laughs> and my father and also the casino in Florida near where he uh, spends half the year. It's the family discount. <laughs> uh, and... You know that's 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 great, and uh, all. Um, do you want to share what state you're in? Um, in I'm in Ohio. Okay, uh, and you want to share kind of what uh, uh, which of the univ- which of the uh, casinos you would uh, go to? Um, I've gone to Miami Valley Gaming, Hollywood Dayton. Um, Hard Rock Cafe, Belterra Park, MGM Northfield, um, Hollywood, Columbus. Um, I think I've been to one in Indiana, but I don't remember the name offhand. Okay. It was. It, was, it used to be a riverboat. Now it's a land-based casino. Uh, Hollywood Lawrenceburg, maybe. It could. Be, it's probably Lawrenceburg. Yeah. yeah okay. I've been there once. So. And and um, uh, which slot machine exactly was it that your mom won? No, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I mean, uh, just you and me here, and and uh, some and a couple of thousand listeners. <laughs> it, it was the machine that I. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You don't. You don't have to divulge it if you don't want to. That, that, um, I, I'm like, don't don't tell anybody. <laughs> it was. It was through observation that I narrowed down that machine. And, you know, whenever she said what machine to play, I, you know, I, at that moment in time, that specific chair on that specific machine that I had done basically reconnaissance on at that casino late earlier, you know, happened to be open and she sat down and. Yeah, I do know. I, I, I do know. I wish I could uh, walk through the casino and show people what I'm seeing, but that's would have it would have to be closed and it's open 24 hours a day. I would have to have signed releases from everybody, and but I think it's fairly easy once you start looking. Uh, there's a, a, a little bit of a you know you somebody goes into play slot machines not to you know you know all this but somebody goes into play slot machines and they don't look up from the slot machine and i'm like go for a walk how many entrances are there i mean if you're going to be you know at a at a new casino or at a casino that you've been going to for five or ten years how's it laid out and it isn't too hard to spot this machine and as as you have done and then I, I find it interesting that you showed your mother uh, and I, I'm wondering you know will will people start side businesses of figuring this out and then take their family and friends and help them out <laughs> yeah, you've, you you might start a trend here gee take my course to help your mom <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the goal but I mean you know, I was also at the casino and I was talking to somebody and I asked them, you know, if they had heard of you. Um, it's an individual I know there and, you know, they're down $8,000 this year, but they're, um, they're not, res- they're very resistant. <laughs> they, I don't even think that they would probably have a flip phone if they had a phone. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, um- Yes, I had coworkers like that. Apparently, the battery lasts such a long, so much lo- much longer than the <laughs> smartphone. <Yeah. laughs> my my boss tried to convince me to uh, talk to my. Uh, actually, he was only a couple of years older than me, 
and talk to him about, you know, maybe not having a flip phone and maybe getting a smartphone. And by the time he was done, I was like, I don't know why I don't have a flip phone. I don't know why I <laughs> went to the smartphone. It's He's pretty convincing about his reasons. Nobody can, you know, call him when he doesn't want to and voicemail. It's only a small fail box. Uh, but so, you know, is there any... Um, so basically, before you met me, you had had gone to casinos with your moms, but with your mom, but not played slots. And then afterwards, you uh, uh, you got your two hand pays. Uh, the second one, you're like, "Wow, I made that happen!" Uh, and then your your mother did you say what she got? Was it a grand? Or, uh, the it was a, it was a grand. Okay. Um, and that's wonderful. Uh, I'm so glad that uh, you had that experience. I'm so glad your mother had that experience. Uh, tell her, you know, hey, I know other stuff too. You know, you should listen. <laughs> yeah. That's, it, it's slowly working its way there. I mean, she, the first time I ever played slots, she's been playing slots for 35 years. Ah. So it, it, she had a fixed, you know, just getting her to lay, use her players club card was a big, uh, sure. was a big traumatic event. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I I remember uh, when they came out, everybody felt uh, very suspicious of it. It was the same thing as the card at a grocery store. What? I'm not giving you my address. And uh we all sort of forgot about it. Uh, now, a common question is, well, they can track me. And uh, to give you points, to give you promotions, other things, but there's, uh, gamblers are suspicious people. And I figure if you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it, but you can also get all kinds of perks too, especially if you, you know, don't go once a year if you go once a week or once a month, you can build up something that might matter. Well, I was going, I was going daily with a hundred dollars a day and um, making a profit. And um, I went to the casino Sunday with a hundred dollar bill. Um, oh, don't go tomorrow. Yesterday. Uh, we have a big, uh, for the listener, we have a big storm coming tomorrow <laughs> in Ohio. <laughs> I'm in Ohio too. So, you know, be careful. <laughs> but, um, but two days later, you know, coming back from the casino, I stopped by the bank and deposited my car payment for the month. Oh. So, I mean, it's, you know, um, you know, I might have had more of an open mind than some other people because I hadn't had a lot of ex exposure to slots play or any mis or any preconceived conceptions. Yeah. But I see a lot of um, a lot of behaviors in the casino from from players that if and and now I'm sitting there and I look and it's like. If you'd only just do this, you could do just so much better. <laughs> uh, and you start observing those things, and it's like, and it, you know, there's nothing you can do. There, uh, well, there's something I can do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, which is try to get the word out. Uh, the the people that I see, uh, you know, are the same way. Um, you know, I ran into someone uh, at, I went over to Indiana, it's Indiana Grand, um, about a month ago, just exactly a month ago, they actually changed their signs to be a horse, to be Horseshoe Indiana, or excuse me, Horse, Horseshoe Indianapolis, and, but it's still Indiana Grand, and I saw somebody who had you know, guided me around to where I hadn't been to that casino before. And they guided me around when I asked them to, to a couple of different places. And they said, oh, they already lost all their money. And from the way they made it sound it was like all on one machine. Uh, and that was, that was, I, I, they felt sad, but I felt like this is an opportunity. You've got a couple of hours walk around, watch other people, 
see if you can spot something. But there's so much that they could look for that, you know, without the guidance of my course, without the guidance of some of my videos, I, I, I tried to tell her what something, but I, you know, it's, it's somebody who's been gambling for a long time. They're like, Oh, Oh yeah. You have a system. Oh, oh, oh okay. And I'm like, well, actually it's the casino making a decision about how to manipulate you. And it's just, they just shut down what they, what they you know, they were shut down the conversation uh, based on what they wanted to hear. And I'm like, okay, uh, thank you for showing me the, slot machine that the individual next to you was playing and winning on. And, you know, I, I told her, but she was not listening uh, to uh, how it had a view of the only cafe and the only slot machine that had a view of the cafe. I was yeah. in the casino like five minutes when I found it. <laughs> I, I made like five hundred dollars for my one hundred dollar bankroll. One third of my, I, I took in three hundred dollars. I had a hundred dollars, and I I ended up with four hundred and fifty seven. And I'm just like, um, I was going to do something else. Oh, that's right. I got like two more hours for the casino review. Okay, and proceed. So I have to uh, adapt a little bit better. Yeah, and and, and, yeah, and the people you see, the people you see, you know, what are they doing? Um, a lot of them, they're just staying on the same machine for too long, waiting for that payout. And as you know, it's um, over time, they're designed to get their money back, you know, and if you don't know that and not willing to accept that reality, your inevitability that eventually that counter is going to go down to zero then, you know, and that's part of developing a plan and developing a strategy. And I've gone in and I've played different strategy. I've gone in on days and played just for fun. I've gone in on other days and played just for points. Um, you have a why? Plan. Just, just so a, I can you park a, and not have to walk as far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you have a plan. It, it, it can be a different plan on a different day at a different casino. And maybe you say, you know, I'm going to have fun or I'm going to make money. And you do you take notes? Do you take, you know, what happened on that trip? Um, I need to take better notes. That's one of my weak points. And that's one of my biggest regrets is looking back on the experience that I have and not being able to recount as much as what I would like to now, knowing um knowing some of knowing some other things and that you know at the time not taking notes i didn't realize how advantageous it would be down in the line now looking back it's it's a regret that i can't go back but going forward it's definitely going to be you know focus you have an interesting challenge doing that if you go daily Right. There's yeah, a, it's there's a, a, it's it's a debriefing. It, it's it adds time. It may be outside of the casino that you do that uh, or as you're leaving or making a quick note. I always try to do it when my memory's fresh, uh, which means, you know, before I pull out of the parking lot or the parking structure and taking that piece of information like, you know, I saw a machine, somebody was playing it the whole time and they're winning and they're winning and they're winning. Ah, maybe I can, you know, get on that the next time I go. Oh, gee, you know, that's like money in the bank. <laughs> um, and, 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 and also, you know, maybe you tried something, you were able to get on some other machine and it wasn't what you expected. And, um, you know, like a like a, a carousel at an entrance to uh, near an entrance, and I got on this one. And it wasn't that one, and I got on this one. wasn't that one, but there was another one that was being played. Maybe they knew, maybe they didn't know, but that's still the one I need to check. And what notes? What other notes would you keep that you would like to keep? Um, more about the dates and times for, for the patterns, the, the natural flow, ebb and flow of the casino. But, um, what I've taken to doing is most of the times that I win, I spend the majority of my time, um, going into the casino, 
relax. You know, I learned to not, not, don't go in hungry, tired, thirsty. You know, if somebody cuts you off before you go into the casino entrance, go in there and calm down, refocus yourself because you don't want to play if you're emotionally charged one way or the other, because that will negatively impact your gameplay. Yeah. I have uh, that issue when someone next to me is, you know, I'm winning and they're just like yelling in my ear, you know, big money, big money, and the spin of the Wheel of Fortune machine. And I'm like, uh, do I put my earplugs in or do I leave? <laughs> tough, mm-hmm. tough call, tough call. Hmm. Uh, it, because it, but I've, yeah. I've seen, you know, it, but going every day, I've seen so many things. Um, I went into Miami Valley Gaming and went back towards the high limit room. And every $5 machine and up that was a three real machine was left on a win. Every <laughs> single one. I've never seen anything like it. I walked into the high limit room at Hollywood Dayton. The first machine was sitting on a $10,000 win. The second machine was sitting on a $30,000 win. The third machine was sitting on 4150 And it was all one lady that had hit it. Boom, boom, boom. One right after the other. And, you know, I'm sitting here looking at her being... Okay, that could have been me just as easily. What which which casino was that last casino? Um, Hollywood Dayton. Okay. As you go into the no, high no, no, no. room on yeah, yeah, there's that, three yeah. real machines that are twenty five dollar denominations. I don't know if the denomination can be changed, but it was on a Wednesday at about one thirty in the morning. And all three machines were on a win. There was nobody in the high limit room, nobody around. Um, it made me feel awkward. So I left, went and got some chips and uh, pop, came back and stepped in the high limit room. And the slot attendant was in there with the winner. And he looked at me and said, you can't be in here unless you're going to play. And I was <laughs> like, well, I didn't, I didn't come here just to drink pop and eat pretzels. <laughs> 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 Um, wow, the uh, uh, slot attendants have become the marketing sta- uh, staff. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, ex- uh, excellent, I suppose. Uh, so, so that's a that's a good summary of you know your experiences of of the last year, and and uh, I I just love that you helped your mom. Uh, that that's that's wonderful. Uh, and if my you, you and, have no idea what a thrill it was for him, and I was like, because we were sitting, you know, Miami Valley game. I mean, she was sitting at Wonder Wonder Wheel, one of the panda ones. And it was like three machines over. And I was like, you know, I saw the empty chair and it's like, you know, trying to get her over there. And, um, but yeah, whenever she sat down and I didn't even have enough time to look around, I looked back and she's like, what's that green ball there? And I'm like, are you kidding me? (laughs) And the people on both sides of her, they were like, this lady just sat down and hit this. You know, it was, it was, it was definitely satisfying Good. <laughs> being able to share that with her. Um, Good. She has macular degeneration. So, yep. th- you know, the lights and everything mm-hmm. um, with her, I think any guidance with her is basically going to be location, 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 anything other than that. She can't, she can't read the machines to know what they're saying. Well, she you know, I, ability. I, 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 I look around, I was just, you know, two days ago, three days ago, I was um, uh, at, a, at a casino and I was looking around when I was playing the slot machines to try to figure out where the wind win interface was. If you were to have a win, where would it show up? Oh, there it is. Bet, 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 bet. And I'm just looking at the win. And if there was one and I'm like, oh, you know, on, on, on the five spin method at four out of five, that's when it hit. Because otherwise it's just some of them are getting to be very aggressive. I turned the volume down, but it, the visuals are just incredible. And sometimes the displays on the bonus is the reward Wow, that was a beautiful bonus. I mean, not monetarily, 
<laughs> but it was dollar and eighty cents. Right. But wow, is that really kind of like A for effort? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have one. It's a new machine. The screen, um, once you get to a certain phase, the screen will actually rise up above the player's table. And it, yeah. it looks like a quick hits. The interface basically looks like a 12 inch iPad, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the volume only goes down to 25%. And, you know, on a machine, I prefer, prefer yeah. to turn the volume down as low as I possibly can. Yeah. because I want to focus on the task at hand and my gameplay, the results of each spin, not, you know. And the, the, the volume being as low as it possible is kind of like the normal level, that that the turning up the volume all the way is like leaning into it. It's a rock concert. It, you're you're yeah. two feet away, uh, and, and 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 trying to take that. You know, if you like the volume up, that's there's nothing against that. Uh, nothing, there's no reason that would cause any winning or losing or anything like that. But it does, uh, as you say, it um, it distracts from keeping, uh, you know, staying focused on your plan. Uh, yeah. That they've they've made a lot of changes at my local casino, so you know I've learned I've had to learn how to take the information that I got from the course and tried to learn to it to apply it. Um, the two machines that I won my first two hand pays on, they're no longer in the casino; they're replaced by completely different machines. Yet I'm still able to win. I'm still able to come home. Well. As I teach in the course, it wasn't about that machine. It was about the machine at that location. So when I find they remove the carousel and it's a blank, you know, it's carpeted. <laughs> there is no there is no carousel anymore. Then I have to find another location that works. Uh, we see some casinos doing that, like Hollywood Lawrenceburg, where it's, I, I measured it, it was 10 paces, 30 feet minimum uh, or more between carousels. Uh, I think that's really safe, but it's also, it made every machine viewable from a distance. But there's still the same principles apply, as I talk about in the course, if it's on the edge of the casino floor near a walkway or a cafe, I'm finding that to be, I mean, I went to Horseshoe, Indianapolis, formerly Indiana Grand, and it took me five minutes, you know, to find it. And I could have, I was, I was just lucky. It could have been one of two others but I sat down at that one and I went, nope, it's this one. <laughs> um, but I got a job to do. I got a job. To, uh, my plan is to do a review. So I got it from that machine. And, uh, but I, w I will uh, uh, leave the video to uh, explain itself. Okay. So um, thank you for uh, providing an interview um, and, you know, what you've what you've been able to do with it helping your mom that's just so great and uh being able to um you know i, I guess i want to ask you what's been has what's been your biggest problem uh you, you had mentioned you want to take notes and being unable to, uh, uh, or at least enough of them, and and you have a fairly good idea of what you might have lost because of that. But you know, is there anything else that's the downside? Um, no, not really. I mean, um, seeing people not do it right, <laughs> you know, does that does that bother? You? Seeing people not do it right, seeing people, you know, uh, get angry at you, you know, what? I, I I I I'm just you know asking if some of this other stuff, if it doesn't bother you, um, that's fine. Um, I, I have had people walk by me and say, you know, you're on my machine. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, most people are most people are really not are 
are nice, you know, um, it's getting to know the casino, get, you know, um, I've expanded my social circle by getting to know some of the regulars at the casino and um, they actually, you know, a couple of them actually sought me out because they had seen me there so many times and, you know, came up and struck up conversation, you know. Well, good, good. Uh, and so, you know, thank you again for, for being on the show. And, um, you know, I uh, this is for listeners, but you've got a, I can almost see the black cat. Uh, and yeah, it's it's kind of like a kind of like a hole. Uh, maybe if it she, blinked or something. She just, she just woke up, so she wants she, she attention. Wants attention. Yeah. Oh. Um, but she's, yeah. she's a rescue cat. She's got one eye. And she is not. And, uh, uh, she is not woken up. <laughs> my, my cat. All right. Uh, yeah, rescue cats. That's uh, that's what I have. Yeah. yeah, but but thank you, John. I mean, um, you know, it has made an impact in my life. You know, I I um I saw one of your quizzes, and you know, it's like, what's the biggest impact the course has made to your life? And I want to put um, more money, <laughs> you know, because that you know, then that is one of the you know, whenever I made that deposit the other day, you know, one of my concerns is now is I'm making multiple small deposits because on my way back from the casino, um, you know, I'm depositing my winnings in the bank, you know, is the bank going to think I'm structuring deposits because now I'm making several small deposits a month, you know? I would say no. Uh, you might just ask them. The federal government, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound knowledgeable, but in case you want to know, <laughs> uh, I was doing the same thing when I was, when I was playing High Limits, and I found out that they have to record a uh, $10,000 or more into a form for the uh, U.S. Treasury so that they can track if there might be a money laundering scheme going on. But I don't, nothing I have seen says anything about less than ten thousand dollars okay uh, i've never tried to deposit a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars uh, yeah but that was cash I mean, if you're, if you're depositing six eight hundred dollars a cash yeah twenty thousand know, dollars in cash one, one two three times a week um they you might know, do the something uh i suppose it seems like a loophole uh, to me, but they could be talking about people who do $10,000 a day every day. Yeah. A and that isn't what you're doing. Okay. And that's who they would want to have a talking to. Um, and, uh, you know, if it's done at multiple banks, then the U.S. Treasury is the only individual that would know, only or, only organization that would know. So I think that if someone was to <laughs> want to laundry money, I don't I don't know what direction is this podcast going. If somebody wanted to <laughs> laundry money, that they would um, use multiple banks and not yeah. go over the ten thousand dollar limit. And yeah, I had to show my players club card um the other day just to turn 520s into 100 because that's one of the things that i do is whenever whenever i'm up if i get up over 100 and some change i'll turn that loose into a hundred dollar bill and then i don't break it i put it into a pocket and oh. it stays a hundred dollar bill oh interesting tip interesting tip uh, so hmm. yeah if i win 160 dollars like that hundred dollar just goes away and I just pretend I have 60 and then I'll start that system over again. You know, my biggest challenge I think is getting off of um, minimum bets and just having the confidence that the play will go the same at the higher bet levels. I've started experimenting with that. And, you know, instead of hitting a hundred dollar bonus round, it was almost a $400 bonus round, but you know, my upbringing, I come from uh a, unfortunately a scarcity mindset 
And that's something that I'm learning to overcome because, you know, whenever I had those two hand pays and I'm sitting here with all this cash in my house, it's like, <laughs> I have been there. I have been there. I put a, I put a book. I put a, I put a book on the stack of hundred dollar bills, and it was canted at an angle, and it wanted to slide off. And I was like, no, that's not working for me. <laughs> um, uh, back in the early days, so uh, for me, um, okay. So I hope that the. You, dear podcast listener, have heard some of the details involved, uh, how the course, I believe, is a starting point, and uh, Rodney is learning his multiple casinos and using what works at each and understanding his response to money burning a hole in his pocket and, you know, how he handles his deposits on his trip home and uh, to his bank. And all of this is what you need to figure out for yourself to make sure that you are, you know, both winning and keeping your winnings. So thank you, Randy, uh, so much for being a part of, you know, including me in your slots journey. I'm glad that I was able to help. Well, I'm glad I was able to help you, but I'm most especially glad to he help your mother. Uh, that, 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 that's that's yeah. just, I, that, that, that thrills me. Um, so uh, thank you so much. And uh, I will I will talk to you soon. I talk to you all the time. I, I think our next uh, uh, meeting, uh, Zoom meeting with the team is what, tomorrow night? So I will talk to you then. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Bye. My 30 Days to Play Slot Smarter and Win online course is currently 50% off for $100 savings. So visit my website at professorslots.com slash 30 days for a complete description, testimonials, and the valuable bonuses you'll get free with the course, including lifetime access, one month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network support community, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes and gameplay analysis. Links are available in the description. That's the end of another great episode of the Professor Slots podcast. Thanks so much for listening. I plan to have the next episode come out very soon for you, where I'll have more amazing content for the show. Until the next episode, have fun, be safe, and make good choices. Bye. <laughs>